Hi everybody, Steve here at El Toro Memorial Park. I don't know if you can see the sign behind me. The sun is just coming up. It's pretty bright, but I wanted to show you the entrance to the cemetery here. El Toro Memorial Park is located in Lake Forest, which is in Orange County, California, which is part of uh, Southern California. And this is where a number of very famous people are laid to rest. And I've been here for about an hour and a half, two hours, searching for the grave sites, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a map online. The office is closed, it's a Sunday, and none of the curbs are marked. There are no names for the sections and no numbers, so it's very difficult to find, you know, the section you're looking for. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to find everyone that I was hoping to, but let's head in and I'll show you who I was able to find. As soon as you enter through the front gates here on Trabuco Road, you drive straight back past the office on the right-hand side to the Los Aliso section, which is also on the right-hand side. Florence Griffith Joyner was a track and field athlete, also known as Flojo, and she's considered to be the fastest woman of all time. The world record she set back in 1988 still stand today. She won a silver medal in the 1984 Olympics, and then in the 1988 Olympics set a new world record for the 100-meter sprint and she won three gold medals that year. Sadly and tragically, she suffocated during an epileptic seizure in nearby Mission Viejo on September 21, 1998, at the young age of 38. Having become a cultural icon, celebrity, and hero to millions, the world was shocked and saddened by her unexpected and untimely death. And I want to say thank you to whoever added the GPS to her Find a Grave Memorial page, which definitely made it possible for me to find her gravesite today. The small hillside that you see here, running along the southeast section of the cemetery, is a cremation niche garden. And this is where another famous person is laid to rest, not far from Flojo's gravesite. So who else remembers actor, recording artist, and DJ Dick Whittinghill? Back in the 1930s and 40s, Whittinghill was a member of the very popular vocal group, the Pied Pipers. They performed in clubs, in movies, and on TV, and sang a number of hit songs that you can still listen to on YouTube. Whittinghill was also a very popular radio DJ for decades. He died on January 24, 2001, at the age of 87, and his cremated remains are interred here in this cremation rose garden. Unfortunately, I don't believe he has a plaque here like some of the others. In 2008, he was inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame. In the nearby adjacent section to Joyner and Whitting Hill's final resting places is another famous grave. There is nothing too difficult for a willing mind. That's nice and optimistic. Now his Find a Grave Memorial page says that Christian Nelson, the man who invented the Eskimo pie, is buried right here in this section. And the GPS took me to where his gravesite is supposed to be located, but there's no headstone with his name on it here. If it is here, I haven't been able to find it. Which is too bad. I'm sure he's here in the cemetery somewhere, and someone probably just placed the GPS in the wrong section or at the wrong gravesite. That does happen fairly often. And here's one of the many Angel of Hope statues that you can find in cemeteries around the country, offering hope to parents who have endured the death of a child. In case you're not familiar with it, it's based on the best-selling book and TV movie called The Christmas Box. Now I'm going to head across the street to the Centennial section to the next famous gravesite. And I think this is the first time I've seen a non-smoking sign in a cemetery. This year though, signs like this are becoming very common. Well, I finally found his memorial bench here, Gordon Jump, and it's pretty close to the street, but the photo that was on his Find a Grave Memorial page looked much, much closer. It looked, like it looked like it was just one row in from the street. And it's funny, I just got here, and one second after I arrived, someone pulled up right here, which happens every single time I come to visit someone's gravesite, which is annoying because I'm trying not to disturb people when they're visiting their loved ones, but every single time I try to visit someone's gravesite, someone else always magically appears, no matter the time of day. When I first arrived this morning, the sun was just barely coming up, and I wasn't even sure if the cemetery would be, even be open. But it looks like they're preparing for a few funerals here today, so they have the gates open early, I think. And so I was able to come in and look around, and for an hour, hour and a half now, I've been looking for the final resting place of actor Gordon Jump, and I finally found his gravesite here. I've added a GPS in case you plan to visit yourself. I'm sure many of you probably remember Gordon Jump 
from the TV sitcom Soap, which ran from 1977 to 1981, in which he played Chief of Police Tinkler, but he's probably best remembered by most for his role as radio station manager Arthur Big Guy Carlson on the equally popular TV sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati, which ran from 1978 to 1982. For more than a decade, he also appeared in TV commercials as the Maytag repairman. Jump died from pulmonary fibrosis, which led to respiratory failure, on September 22, 2003, at the age of 71, in Los Angeles. Actress Carol Bruce, who played Lillian Carson, or Mama, died from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in Woodland Hills, California, on October 9, 2007, at the age of 87. She was cremated and has no final resting place to visit at this time. And I'm very happy to report that all of the other main cast members from the show are still alive. It may be difficult to believe, but Gary Sandy, who played Andy Travis, is now 75 years old. Lonnie Anderson, who played Jennifer Marlowe, is also now 75 years old. Tim Reed, who played Venus Flytrap, is now 76 years old. Frank Bonner, who played Herb Tarlick, is now 78 years old. Richard Sanders, who played Les Nessman, is now 80 years old. Howard Hessman, who played Dr. Johnny Fever, is also now 80 years old. And the youngest member of the ensemble, Jan Smithers, who played Bailey Quarters, is now 71 years old. So how many of you remember this classic TV show? And how many of you still watch it? I'm here today just a couple of weeks before Christmas, which I think is one of the best times of the year to visit a cemetery. At least here in California, where you're almost always able to find lots of grave sites decorated for the holidays. So if you're not yet in the holiday spirit, keep watching. This very eye-catching holiday gravesite display is located just a few yards away from Gordon Jump's gravesite. Little drummer teddy bears and tin soldiers are pretty cool, and so are all the large and small Christmas trees decorating so many of the gravesites. But some of my favorites are just the grave sites with simple wreaths. And of course, what would cemetery Christmas decorations be without a Santa Claus or two? But I think my favorite is the elf at the other end of the headstone. And this week I want to thank my newest Patreon supporter, Musky Dave. Thanks so much, Dave, for your extra generous donation to my channel. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and Happy Holidays, everyone, whatever and however you celebrate the holidays. So if you enjoyed today's trip down memory lane, I hope you'll join me on another one and click and watch this video here. Until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.